Well, how coffee time, friends? It's coffee time and supper time. It's chicken time. Y'all ready for some chicken? We've not had chicken in a spell. So we thought we'd have some chicken tonight. So in here, we've got four tenders. That's going to be a plenty. And all I done was stuck them in here and put salt and pepper. And now I'm going to put Italian zesty Italian. So this is Kurt's. This is our brand at the store. Um, and so you don't have to marinate for hours and hours and hours. It's good. It really is if you want to. But you can pour it on at the last minute. I'm going to show you right here tonight. So this is acting very much like when you make fried chicken and you just make a dredge and you put your flour and you put your stuff and you you uh, put your chicken in some good buttermilk and some ranch or whatever you want to. Um, so that's it right there. And I'm just going to marinate it for whatever time it takes me to prepare it. And it's going to be good. And uh, some of you would probably agree and say, well, I couldn't tell much difference in it. Um, because that's just the way it works. Marinate two or three hours. You might taste a little different. Get us a potato, put it down. Okay. Mama's gonna get a potato. We're gonna have a baked potato, some grilled chicken, and Mama, what do you got else? You got, you got veggies or green beans or what you want? She'll find something. That's just, that's the preparation it takes to do these chicken dinners. <laughs> So I've got, and I just put a little, what I did was just put some y'all's ranch in there. And that's going to act kind of like a binder, a thickener, and it's going to be a delicious flavor. Y'all know I use ranch as dressing and I use it as a seasoning. Now, I'm going to put a little extra virgin olive oil in uh, our micro pro grill here. Some of y'all ask what this is. It's from Tupperware. Mama has them on her site. They do put them on sale from time to time. And that's just a little bit of olive oil in there, okay? And I'm gonna lay these chicken tenders right out in there. I'm gonna try to get all that Italian dressing flavor on there. That flavor has got seasoning in it plus the liquid in it. It's very good. And I'm just gonna put these right down the center here. And there they go. Now this micro pro grill will cook these in about nine minutes and it will be um, cooked top and bottom. And that's the reason we use it. There's no smells or anything that it brings. And I'm gonna go ahead and just drizzle the rest of this over this because you have got that flavor, that ranch and that Italian in there. And that's good. Put that there to be washed, okay? I have not touched any raw chicken, just for the record. This is in a Tupperware spice container because it's the B-A-N-D-I-A -A brand. It's called Orange Pepper Pimenta Nara, I don't know. I got this last month, and I'm going to tell you the story of why it's in here. It came in its own bottle like they all do, and... Um, Abby seen the delivery guy come, and she said, poor old mama and John, they probably won't have time to open that package. So I'm gonna open it for them. She opened the package, she chewed up everything in it, except for this lemon pepper, and somehow or another, she broke the cap on it, but it was still on there, but it was busted. And uh, so I, instead of just leaving it in that, I put it over in this. She hadn't got into this, but she got everything else just trying to open it for us. She wasn't trying to be mean or destructive in any way. Don't get that rumor out. I won't have it. All right, so we're just going to put some of this orange, you heard it, orange pepper. It's just going to give it that uh, orangey flavor. But it's also going to help to tenderize it and all that stuff. And it's going to give it a good seasoning. And I'm not putting it on both sides. So I'm putting it heavy on this side. Now, you can get orange pepper, lime pepper. You know, y'all's has lime pepper. And we use it most of the time. But variety is the spice of life. Sometimes you want orange. Sometimes you want lime. I've tried the orange before. I like it. So now, I'm going to put the lid on it right now and I'm gonna put it on grill mode 
just like that. And we're going to put that in the microwave and set it for about nine you minutes. Some salt on those I was going to let you. Oh. I was going to give you the camera and let them see you do this. So I'm putting just a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt on the skin of these potatoes. And uh, that's all it's going to take to get them good and real good. Mama, you may take this out in the garage and put it in the microwave. You got a lid? Oh, lid, oh, lid, where are you? What are y'all up to tonight? It's a beautiful day here. It's been an ultimate spring day. It's been 80 degrees, blue skies. Someone told me today there were some storms coming. That's probably because it said we're in. Mama, I'll take that up there. She's hard to keep up with, folks. She's taking that out into the canning kitchen, putting the microwave up there because we've got this one turned on for the chicken. So uh, we could have probably put them in there together, but it would slow down both of them. Um, you know how it is. So what do y'all think we should have with this? Some frozen vegetables or just some green beans. Carrots would be good with it, wouldn't it? Mmm, both of those sound good. Coleslaw would be good with it. Should I mix up some coleslaw? We are under tornado warning. No. What? Are we expecting real bad storms, y'all? No, I don't watch the news. You gotta keep me informed. I have never heard of orange pepper. Um, there's lemon pepper, orange pepper, lime pepper. I'm sure there's all kinds of peppers, but I have all those. Now, y'all know y'all know that y'all's has lime pepper. We love it. It's wonderful on any kind of fish. And I always keep it right here handy so I can, all I can see is the tops of these. They've got lime pepper. And uh, we use, well you can tell it's about gone. We use this on everything fish, we use it on pork and chicken. Um, it's a good product with a good flavor profile. It's delicious. Uh, but this I just ordered, uh, I've had it before. But I just ordered this brand new one, January the 4th, 24. This is when I got it. And I put that on there, and Abby opened it. I don't think she done anything to this. I think during the process of opening everything that the delivery guy left, it might just fell off something and broke. She only ate one Amazon order, though. That's pretty good. That's not bad anyway, is it? Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? Yes, I remember that, Lisa. Remind me of a Dr. Pepper commercial. Having French bread pizza for dinner. Ooh, that sounds good. I love French bread pizza. I like it homemade or I like the frozen version, either one. You haven't made cowboy coleslaw for a long time. I haven't, have I? Well, I tell you, I won't make it tonight because I don't have all the ingredients. But I will, and it's in the church cookbook, I believe. Uh, but it's really good, and I will make it. And it's got uh, cucumbers and a lot of stuff in it. So that's more of a summer thing, and I will be making it, though. Cowboy coleslaw. Thank you, Terry, for remembering. I think they've about decided I'm coleslaw. <laughs> Carrots would be good. Carrots and potatoes. I don't think that sound good. You just want coleslaw? Southern fried chicken tomatoes. You don't? Mama said no. She got ruled us out. She just don't want us to have it tonight. It is a little, well, it's 630, but it's, it, it would be the raw cabbage and stuff to go to bed on. Mama, you don't want us to have it. 
southern fried chicken, tomatoes and rice is what's for supper here. M Mitch and Cindy, where y'all live? We, you fixed enough for all of us? Oh, that sounds good. Southern fried chicken, mama, and tomatoes and rice. I don't have southern fried chicken. It's this. I'm she ain't really too happy about tonight's supper. I you, want to go with that. You may see a slight attitude out of her tonight. Don't hold it against her. But she's want, she'd rather have fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and green beans. But then she said, I don't want that grease tonight. We don't need all that bread. I said, well, Mama, we can do grilled chicken. Well, okay. And then now she's acting like I'm the one that knocked out of had fried chicken. She's the one that ixnated earlier and said the grease wasn't no good. I believe what it is, she's mad at herself for making that decision. Let's look at her in her own element over here. Uh, quit looking at her. She's a little testy. She's a little testy tonight. You salty, mama? Oh, I'm good. You salty with us? <laughs> you quit that. Come over here and tell them you salty. I'm not salty. I'm in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's hard to be uh, salty on a pretty day like this. Mama's been to the mailbox. She's been. I had to. She's been in and out of the house all day today. That's the normal. That's the normal routine. Now, I don't know what Mama will tell you, but I'm gonna tell you. I'm smelling that chicken already, and it smells absolutely delicious. Are you smelling it, Mama? Yep. And what do you say about it? Right, uh, not right. What's that? Orange. Well, what do you say about it, Mama? It smells pretty good. Does it smell pretty good? Mm -hmm. You ain't upset over that fried chicken still, are you? I'm not really sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. She said, can she come on over anyway and try a little bite of that fried chicken? <laughs> Mitch. That's my best way. Mitch and Cindy's having it, Mama. I don't, I bet you ain't from Jellico, or you mentioned Cindy. <laughs> They're from Renz, Georgia, Mama. How long does it take us to get to Renz? <laughs> Mama, we ain't got time to get you down there. Uh, or we ain't got time to get you down there and get you fed at, at Mitch and Cindy's before your three hour uh, before bedtime dinner for oh. Spritz. Mitch, you should have told us sooner. We might have been able to make it if it's three. I hope y'all enjoy that. We'll try some Southern Fry maybe next time, I promise. It's been a beautiful day here too, Catherine. I sure hope. Now let's say we got tornado warnings. Ooh. What brand is your orange pepper, John? Sherry Fry? It is, I don't know. But, but it's B-A-D-I-A. It's backwards. But that's a B A D I A. Baday. B A D I A. I don't know that I've ever even tried that brand. It was just orange chicken. And some of you all told me orange about pepper. it originally. You said orange chicken, orange pepper. Orange pepper. One of you all told me about it on here one night, and boy, I looked it up, and there it was. And I tried it, and I—I I mean, I ordered it, and I tried it, and I love it, I love it. And um, B A D I A orange pepper pimenta. Is it pimenta or P I M I E N T A? Oh, pimenta. And then it's N A R A N. I A Ma Marina. I copied that off the bottle because I knew I'd know nothing about it, including the name. Uh, and I just put it in this Tupperware. And these are wonderful. When we have those on sale again, I put what I use them mostly for. Now, every once in a while, I get creative. And I do make my own. Oh, mama. Gender, look at that. And people said, is it brown? Boy, does it ever. And look at them spices on there. Oh, uh, oh, that smells so good. Um, 
What was I saying? Oh, I will make my own spices up sometimes. You know, Kimmy makes spices, and sometimes she tempts me, and I think, well, I'll make me up a little bit of that. But what I use it for a lot is just downsizing. You know, you buy them bottles of spices, and they're pretty big. And you've got like a little bit left, but you've still got to store that big old thing. So I use them for that. When it gets low enough, I put them over in this and put me a tag on it. And this is just a, a melon label. And uh, I just stick it on there. And when I get ready to take it off, I throw it in the hot water. And I let it soak, peel it right off, and it comes off great. But um, these spice, they, they have a smaller one. They have a little one, too. Mama keeps... Um, cinnamon in one of these at all times instead of the big old thing because it's hard to store down low enough where she can reach it so i always keep her cinnamon box full so that's the name of it and then of course y'all know the lime pepper is y'all brand now y'all don't have orange yet but now i'm telling you what i watched them boys on the live and rumor has it yeah, I don't believe this, but I, I mean, I, I had to listen twice. Uh, Darian said that by June of this year, if I didn't misunderstand, they're going to try to have up to 11 flavors of tea. Now, he has sent me one flavor to try. And let me tell you, I can't wait. I feel like I'm missing out because I don't have it because I used it. It's so good. And there are going to be some more. So they've got the raspberry. They've got the uh, peach. And they've got the decaf. I don't know if they're counting that as part of their selection or what. But that's going to be amazing to have that much of a variety. So y'all check it out and be listening. Go over to their page, y'all bring it, and look, listen to that podcast. Yeah, the last one they did, I guess. It was this week. And you can hear him tell you that too. So anyhow, that's what we're up to anyway. Chicken's done done. Now look how good that was. Baked potatoes are already done. I hope they're done. If they're not, we've got a, a vacancy right here, Mama. We just had a seat open up for them. I know it. This is a week. This is a weeknight meal, folks. This is what you're looking at. Take that big one because it'll be the one. It says twos. It's done. Is it done? Just put the lid back on it and let it. Just another tinge. Well, I'm sticking in there for No, it don't need to be in the microwave. It just, it won't hurt it to do another minute on that stand. This is a weeknight meal. This is Thursday, you know. And you want something, you can get in, get out. Or well, we do. Uh, we like good food. And we like them days of slow simmer. We like them days of prep and get it pulled together. Those are fun days. Of the evening, when you're getting in at 5.30 or 6 and you like to be in the bed by 9, you gotta hurry because you gotta clean up. You gotta spend time with the kids or the dog or the dog and then the kids. How do you work it? Um, you got stuff to do. You got laundry to do. So you want a good meal. You want a wholesome Meal for the family on the table. And this is all good stuff right here. But you don't want to be all day cooking it. Now, you can run out to the fast food. And I tell you this all the time. That's great. Do it. Take those nights that you need to. And get them out there and get you some pizza. Get you some run through the drive through But you don't want that every night. You want some options at home. And that's what we're showing you right here. We don't take all night to cook. Uh, we don't stop the camera, so however long it takes us to do it, how long it takes us to do it. So you've been right here with us since I had the chicken in the thing. Now it's done, and the potatoes are done. Snap. And the mashed potatoes will be done, because you only had to cook mashed potatoes 12 or 13 minutes. Mashed potatoes? Oh, not mashed potatoes. What's that in that kid a little Carrots. Bit? Carrots. You only had to do them. Carrots for about eight minutes, but mashed potatoes about 12 or 13 minutes. We did discuss mashed potatoes, didn't we? Did I say that at the beginning? Mama decided on baked potato. Uh, now the carrots are going to get uh, pancake syrup out of the bottle. Just a touch. And uh, 
That's it, I guess, Mama. Butter and a little brown sugar. Butter and a little brown sugar. Tell them those measurements, Mama. I don't have measurements. Just a little bit of each one. About a, not even a tablespoon of it, all of it. She's put a tablespoon of sugar, brown sugar, and she's cut her off. Well, Mom, there's three tablespoons gone. Was this a new butter? No, it's the soft and over butter. So it's about a tablespoon of butter and them carrots, and about a tablespoon I of brown sugar. Of she didn't put a tablespoon of nothing, she said. It wasn't that much. Y'all fix them to your flavor profile. But it wouldn't hurt if you did that. Put a, put a tablespoon. There they are. Look how pretty those are. I love carrots. Now, I have never. Mama says she did, and they just didn't yeah. turn out much. Uh, but I have never grown a carrot. And I'm just going to be quite honest with y'all. You have to pull my country boy card after I say this. I don't even know how you grow a carrot. Is it a plant or is it a root? Mama? It's a root. A carrot's a root. Honey. I know a carrot's a root, but what I'm asking you is, okay, let me redeem myself. I know we plant Irish potatoes, russet potatoes, and we take a potato and we cut the eyes and we put it in the ground and it will grow a plant and then we'll dig it up and we'll have potatoes under that. But I also know sweet potatoes, you have to get a slip, a little plant, and then you plant it. You can't just cut the sweet potatoes up and get them like you do Irish potatoes. So my thing is, I know that's a root, but you how do you seeds. grow it? Seeds. You make your ridge, cut down the ridge, you sow your carrots, and then you plant your carrots. So it's sort of like and, a sweet potato. And you sow the seeds. A uh, turnips, they grow like that. Uh, beets grow like that. From seeds? Yeah, okay. from seeds. We've never grown many turnips, and we've never grown, in my lifetime of remembering, I don't remember carrots. I've grown them, but you have to have real soft soil. Uh, A sandy soil? Sandy soft soil in order for Carrots to grow. There'll be little old things and stuff like well, that. Well, I want to ask you all this. A lady I work with asked me, because I guess she thought I knew all things gardening. But she asked me, she loves, um, well, what's some things uh, um, that you plant with your curly leaf mustard? Radishes. Radishes. She loves radishes. But she plants the seeds or whatever and all she gets is the plant. She don't get the radish. What's the problem? I don't know. I've never planted them and I've had a radish. All right, y'all heard me. She plants the plant, but she only gets the the top part. She don't get Maybe the root. Maybe the brand she's a vine. Or... She's tried different ones over the years, but she was asking me. She said, what can I do? to get some good radishes. And I said, oh, mercy. Well, she probably needs to, like you do the carrots, make a ridge and sow them so that they'll have places to grow. Maybe she's not putting them in the ground deep enough to to do it. But if but I just sow mine with my mustard and they come up with the time she got through talking to me, she thought I was crazy because I said to her, and it made perfect sense in my head. I said, Mama plants them every year, but she don't plant them to eat. <laughs> and she said, what's she plant them for? I said, let me, let me rephrase that because that's not what I really meant to say, but it's a true statement. Mama plants them every year in her curly leaf mustard to keep the bugs down. But yes. we don't. We don't pull them up and eat them. She may get the tops of them, but the purpose she plants them for is for the bugs. I've never seen you bring a radish in. I don't like radishes. You and your daddy will eat them. So she don't bring me one. I did. But I've never one. seen her bring one in. Yeah, but, I brought you some the year before. Like, did you? Yeah, I couldn't remember, Mama. I don't have to. But I know you don't plan on to eat. You just plant a few in with your curly leaf mustard. So some of you and farmers... Parsnips is the same way. We're under tornado watch. Huh? We're under tornado watch. Everybody's saying that. We are. 
What brand is your orange? Oh, did I stop y'all way back there? I think you missed that. Okay, so some of you farmers out there, you people who know plants, um, looks like they're the perfect potato. Well, thank you, ma'am. Um, the potatoes are good in that stack cooker. Very good. A little oil and excessive season. nitrogen that uh, rapid onset of hot weather or overcrowding may produce plants that are tops lush foliage. Well, thank you, Bernice. I will tell her that excessive nitrogen. She needs to have her soil tested because she's wanting some good radishes to eat. Now, we have radishes when we plant them. But Mama might plant, what, 20 in a whole bed of... No, green. I just buy like a little package of reddish seeds and scatter them around with my mustard. But I mean, we don't have tons of them. Mm -hmm. But uh, it would be interesting to know that, wouldn't it, Mama? Yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands of your parent, dear Lord, and we just ask that you'll watch over us, lead and guide and direct us in everything that we do. Be with each and every prayer request that's gathered here today, and just you'll answer those too, dear Lord. Watch over this world we are living in, Lord, put a hedge, put a hedge protection around us for these storms, and put a hedge protection around our families and our children as they go in and out of the day, dear Lord, in your name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. This is a good supper because I'm really, it's so tender. That's the orange pepper chicken. Mmm. What do you think, Mama? Oh, I ain't tried the chicken. You know what I mean. <laughs> Tater. Tater. If you like lemon pepper chicken, you're probably going to like the orange pepper. Just got a hint of orange to it. You can taste that beautiful ranch in it. You don't have to put the ranch, but I always do because I just love it. But the orange chicken is delicious. Mm mm mm. It is good. It is, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I'm glad Abby opened that up for us. She's calmed down since then. That was way back in January. I don't normally put cheese, but tonight you made it look so good, Mama. Oh, wow. I thought I would. And I always put pepper. I always put a little pepper. This is just black ground pepper. You always put a lot of pepper. <laughs> you caught me, Mama. Because you know me, don't you? Mm. You can talk my while I'm grabbing the paper. Mm -mm. Are you still salty? Are you still mad at us? Mm -hmm. Over not having a fried chicken? I just got my mouth full of food. Well, Mama, we discussed that. I can't eat without getting it full. I know. And we'll just have to deal with it. I mean, sometimes we gotta eat about it. Mm -hmm. We could take turns. You're too slow. You talk too much. I would never get a turn. <laughs> a turn in what? Eating. Well, you can talk and let me eat about it. Oh, I go eat. <laughs> She plays so well with others. That <laughs> used to be on her report card. I was good in school. I'm talking about the report card I make on you. Well, yours don't count. Those carrots are delicious. Did a good job, didn't I? Do you like carrots? I love them. I really could eat them all the time. I love them raw. I love them cooked if someone said one day John you sure have got a lot of favorites he does I agree with you I do and you can have more than one favorite folks you know you've got favorite people in your life you can have more than one favorite 
favorite people, favorite food, favorite places. My unfavorite thing is getting something on my shirt. You take that after you do. Ugh. It didn't leave a mark, and it was just a tiny little piece of potato fell off the edge of that fork. I'm glad, too. I have just quit eating. Just say that. Mm. Makes me so mad, don't it, Mom? Your and him is just all I come at. If I get something on mine, I just knock it off and go on it. <laughs> I don't like it. This chicken's a, a winner, winner chicken dinner. Mmm. What do you prefer, Mama? Lime pepper, orange pepper, lemon pepper. Oh. I don't know what's all on that. That's pretty good. This is just orange pepper. What I prefer is good old southern fried chicken bread. And fries. Just as in the, right in the middle when I was asking her that, I thought you shouldn't have brought chicken in. But, who said we wouldn't have fried chicken tonight? I said it'd take a while. And it'd be what? Greasy. Mm -hmm. And you didn't need that. Now, I am the bird that said we could always do orange or lemon or lime chicken. Mm -hmm. And you said that'd probably be better. Yeah, that probably would have been better. It would have greased oil. Mm-hmm. But I'm with you. Good old southern fried chicken can't be beat in my book. Oh, no. But I do love a good grilled chicken. You know, it's just the last few years or 10 years or so that I eat grilled chicken. It is. Mama is the chicken tender queen. We have traveled all over the place. <laughs> and I've tried to take her to some very different restaurants and and she always says, where's the chicken tenders on this menu? I play it safe. And if it's not on the menu, we ask the server, do you have chicken tenders? And like 99 times out of 10, they'll say, <laughs> 9 times out of 10, yes, it's right up here on the kids menu. And I work on the kids. And she'll say, well then give me the kids chicken tenders. And they'll say, yes ma'am. True story. I'm not ashamed to order from no. the kids menu. And the funny part. And that's enough for me too. A funny part is a lot of times they'll say, would your daughter like anything else? <laughs> no. They yeah. think she's 12. Just cause I act it sometimes. You don't act up in restaurants. You just get the nosy. <laughs> this is a scenario a lot of times when we go somewhere. I'm sitting there preparing for the meal or doing something or working or whatever. And Mama's sitting there like this. Does she, do you have these family members? <laughs> your Mama, your Auntie, somebody. And I'm going, oh. Quit staring. <laughs> I was trying to see what there's eating over there. It looks real good. And then she has in the past said, lean back there and ask her what that was. <laughs> no. When the server comes, you can ask them what she's having. I'm not <laughs> asking what she's eating. I would. Or, she does about the same thing. And I'll say, Mom, what are you looking at? And she'll say, I was watching that baby. Watch it. Watch that baby over there. I can't help it because babies draw my attention. And I'll say, Mom, quit looking at your baby. Well, he's so cute. <laughs> and I usually tell him, it's a doll. It's something. And then she goes to the bathroom and she stops by and says, I just had to tell you, that's the cutest little young and I ever seen in my life. <laughs> And they go, oh, thank you. I think they're all cute when they're little. Mama's not above saying, 
I'd like to take him home with me. And I'm like, Mama, quit saying that to people. <laughs> it's a different time. Yeah, and she's like, now nah, they know I'm just talking. They know that I wouldn't take no baby. They could look in your eyes and tell you wouldn't no baby take her, wouldn't they, Mama? Yeah. Kids are cute. When they're trying to eat in a restaurant, use a fork or whatever they're doing, or spoon. Or talking, or chatting, going on. Mm -hmm. Making noises. You talking about you or them? Both of us. Both me and the kids. That's the reason I don't get old much as fast. Now, you don't age, Mama. I stay as young with the kids. That's the truth. I promise you. It may be more than I think. Usually if I think it's been three years, it's been six. Y'all ever do that? It might have been five years ago or six years ago. I, I wasn't living here and I come by here and I said, what's going on, Mama? Mama and her older sister was sitting here at the, um, oh, and there was three or four girls in sleeping bags. And this was like at six o'clock at night. It was winter time. They had the whole living room filled with sleeping bags and mama was making popcorn and there was cookies in the oven and pizza. Box. I said, what's going on? We're having a slumber party. Don't you recognize a slumber party? I said, okay. <laughs> and I said, who's... Who's at the slumber party? Well, it was my first cousin's little girl and her friends and mama's sister. And mama named all the girls. And then she said, and Nanny and Bernice, and we're going to party. And I said, There's nothing wrong with that. You going to party with them? We're sleeping right now with them. Yes, we are. We're having us a good time. And I said, Mama, if you need any help or anything, you give me a holler. And you girls have fun tonight. And I shot out that door just as quick as I could go. They rallied all night, I reckon. Who was in the middle of stuff when you was little? Well, that'd been you, Mama. You had a bunch of them. Where was I at? You was somewhere there. Right with you. Until you started throwing us in the basement. I even went down there and stayed some. Nah, look. Oh, I was working mostly then. But once we went up to the basement, you pretty well was out of the party frame for us. We had high tech <laughs> entertainment down there. We had some of you. Some of you will remember this fondly, and some of you will say, "What was he talking about?" We had an Atari. And a black and white TV. Now we had a color TV. It was the big floor model. You know back when. Back when. If somebody broke into a house. They didn't steal the TV. I think that was the best idea. Because it was way too heavy. And it was floor mount. And it looked like a piece of wooden furniture. And you always had a box on top of it. To change the channels. And usually your mama had a lamp, maybe a big old Bible, maybe some whatnot doodles on top of it. That TV. And it had the fake drawers at the bottom with knobs, but they wouldn't open. And as a child, I always wondered, why did they put them fake drawers on there? They won't open. I, I digress. Yeah. And I guess some of you rich people may have had one with a remote. In our household, I was the remote. <laughs> and evidently, back then, if you sit too close, you'd go blind. I heard that a lot. Get back from that TV, you're going to go blind. And if you yeah, turn your wiring glasses, that's when you said too close. And it had a channel on it. 
that turned and it lit up at the top number and that's where you was. And you would be on six and your daddy or your mommy would say, turn that over on 10. Because that's the two stations we had, six and 10. And sometimes on a clear, perfectly wonderful day, we had eight. And that was out of Kentucky. That was a good station. And you was changing from six to 10. And if you went, you were turning it up. We can't afford another TV. What are you going to do when you rip that knob off? You slow that down. So when your daddy told you to do it at night, he was like, till you got to 10. Any of y'all remember those days? Ain't nobody that old out there. The youngins, mama. They all youngins. Mm -hmm. That sure was the good old days. Mary, you remember? Mary Jane, was you the remote? <laughs> Turn that over on 10. News is coming up. Chick, chick, chick. But now when they went home, I go, Tush! and it never did tear up, never did break, and it was working the day we hauled it off. So I think it was tougher than they thought it was. Yes, I do, KJ remembers. Do you remember laying on your belly with your chin on your hands like this watching TV? Because that was the best view in the house. It was like being at the movies. Yep, like, uh, Lisa says. Absolutely remember those days. See? <laughs> Did any of y'all ever go blind from sitting too close to it? watching. I remember those days well. I don't know. I don't remember. You know, everybody's got the TVs on the wall now and up high. Uh, back then you stand right down at the floor like this. You was sitting on your chair like this and if you're sitting in your recliner, you was looking between your feet. Because <laughs> the TV was smack dab on the floor. Do y'all remember that? And then, some people, um, if that TV went out, they just get a smaller box when it's set on top of it. We had remember? to play the radio or the sound would go off on our old TV when we was growing up. Uh -huh. And we'd just get a radio and put it on that channel to, I mean, it would have the thing you play. And we'd listen to the radio. It'd be the voice and the TV in the picture. So the same thing on the radio would be on the TV? Yeah, used to. Radio stations carried TVs. Now, in the beginning, the TVs were that big, but the picture tube was just like this. Little bitty thing. Or round. That's the way ours was. Going and some things that we would play on the big screen, it wouldn't be... The picture would be inside the screen smaller. Remember that? Certain certain shows you'd watch. Mm -hmm. But those were the good old days. Do you remember Atari? Frogger? Pac-Man's on the one I had. Pac-Man. Ever got good at. And some of you guys, you remember, girls too, everybody played it. The um, basketball. They had square heads and they were stick figures and that one leg is the only thing that moved. And that one hand... And we thought that was high tech. Now the the characters sweat on games. We we had stick figures going, and it would go, and you'd stop to shoot, and it go, and it raise its hand up, and go. Y'all remember that? Remember combat, the little tanks, and it go. Remember. Went way back, didn't we? we went way back. We probably went back too far for some of these folks. Mama, thank you for this wonderful supper. Even if it wasn't fried, it's delicious chicken. Yeah, Them yeah. carrots hit the spot, and that baked potato is phenomenal. Yeah. That was real good. You got anything you want to add tonight, Mama? No, I'm just thankful we got to fix it in a hurry and eat and before it got too late. And we did good. Yeah. You did good. I didn't do nothing except put a potato on that there and that microwave. Except that chicken and this one. You know that other little microwave's plugged up over yonder on that shelf. Yeah. 
We don't no. use it? No, we don't bring used windows. We got a desktop microwave or countertop microwave. Now we got one over the stove out there in the garage. We need to have to clean up the garage, Mom, and have the no. 4th of July get together or something. Oh, no. It'd take two years to clean it. It's Mama's canning kitchen. It's got a gas be, stove so she can can on it, but she uses this one in here. I won't be canning out there unless a miracle happens. Why? I won't get it cleaned up. It's just stuff. It's Tupper. That's our Tupperware office. Tupperware and stuff from your house. I think all that's down. Mm -mm. All, most all that little brush stacked up with that been done that big tall shelf. I mean, big tall cabinets, yours from your house. I've not looked at it, so I don't need it. So it needs to be boxed up and boxed out, Mama. All right, Mama. We'll talk about that. You're making me tired thinking about cleaning. I know. That's why I said it'd take two years to be cleaned up. Oh, mercy. Y'all have a great day. Have a wonderful evening. Get out and make some memories with the family. It's 713. Um, it'll be daylight another hour. We're there. Um, flowers are blooming everywhere. It's, I'm afraid it may be too soon. Our Bradford pears are all solid white. The neighbors are solid white. And then today I noticed for the first time there's big old green leaves as big as my thumb on them already. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I'm afraid everything will get bit bad because it's a little early. It's a little early, but it's been warm. And if we have a full-fledged early spring, that'll be okay. But if it comes in here, if we have high winds and storms, we might lose all the blooms. Mm -hmm. They don't bear pears anyway, so that's okay, I guess. So I'm going to learn about these storms that we got coming, and um, we'll, uh, y'all be, keep us in prayer, and we'll keep you in prayer, and we'll all we get better through. better check all batteries and our flashlights and everything. Yeah, and get our route to the safe place already. Mm -hmm. If it's tornadoes, I want to be prepared. We know where we're meeting. Or hopefully, we've always, we've always known that. So if you don't have a plan, get a plan. Say, we'll meet you. Ours is under the stairwell in the basement. That would be the most support. It's in a corner. It's double walled. There's even under a, the ground. Under the ground. And you'd be under that stairwell if something else hit. There'd be no way you get hit by debris unless the whole house blew away because there's not a window in that area. So that's our safe place. Get you a safe place. Get you a flashlight with some batteries. Make sure your cell phones are plugged up right now and fully charged before you go to bed. Anything else I should tell them about? Take some water with you. Take some water and get you a snack together. Get you a baggie together. Pack your lunch is what I say. <laughs> All right, Mama. Tell them good night and uh, be... be uh, Safe and sleep tight because I gotta find out about these storms. Y'all yeah. have a good evening. And good night, Mama. God bless you all. Bye bye. Bye. Y'all have a blessed one. Bye bye.